Chicago, right here on our west coast, Bowen Island representing. Each of these artists draws on the stories of their lived experiences and brings them here to us with some pretty magical music behind them. Um, you don't want to hear from me, you want to hear from them. So without further ado, I give you Sherry Elric, Buffalo Nichols, Haley Hendricks, and Melody Powers. Please enjoy. Well, now my hosting job is done. I don't need to do anything else. I, I, a couple of th housekeeping things. I, I know that I look like a maven. I'm not all three. Well, I'd like to think I'm all three mavens rolled into one, which I am at this festival. Uh, Lynn Miles had to tend to her very ill mother in Ottawa, and Susan Crow, it was just too far to walk from Halifax. Um, so I'm, I'm here by myself with Hilary Grist and Jen Tolmy. We will be over at another state at the in the woods somewhere at four o'clock and again tomorrow um, but right now it's me and I didn't realize that we were hosting so I'm completely unprepared to rant on about how wonderful these people are so they're gonna have to tell you themselves and show you themselves so we're just gonna hand it off right now because we're running a little bit late so first up Buffalo Nichols <laughs> Uh, Alright, I'm going to play this song. It's called These Things. It's on my new album. Yeah, I wrote it at the beginning of the pandemic. For the first time in my life, I had to rely on my memories to keep me from going further insane. Um, so, it's about those things. It's called These Things. say originally because I've been here for 40 years or something but we're all from the US somebody else pointed that out which is quite profound so welcome Americans that, that doesn't make a special <laughs> I mean 
from here. Happy that you're here. So Haley Hendricks. Hello. Uh, I come from Portland, Oregon. It is a pleasure to be here. This is also a pandemic-esque written song. But it, um, I heard that we're allowed to collaborate, so if you two feel like singing along, it's kind of a, a cheesy tune. This is about... <laughs> because I also got to live off my memories for two years. Um, I thought of all the times before leaving for tour that you clean your room, just in case you never return. So, but the end of the phrase is always, I clean, Ooh, wait, we don't have to, wait, testing, testing, let's not get that feedback. I clean my room. So that, that's just what I'm going to be repeating a lot, if you'd like to harmonize. But if you're feeling it, you don't have to. It'll make sense very soon. Um, we can turn down vocals in this monitor. We can turn it down. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow morning I will leave so I clean. Careful while my roommates sleep, I clean my room. Time is the tension that makes me feel like I won't get back. socks my favorite pair I clean my room how did my panties end up there I clean my room time is the tension that makes me feel like I won't get back how common that is because I do that too. I think just in case I don't get back, I don't want people thinking a crazy woman was living there. <laughs> Melody Angel. I'm from uh, South Side of Chicago. This is my first time in Canada. I know if you see me around, I got this smile on my face. My face hurt because I just been smiling like the whole weekend. <laughs> so my cheeks are like sore. <laughs> but I'm really happy to be here and just hearing all this great music and getting to meet people and vibe with them and it's just a blessing, and uh, I'm gonna do this tune because uh, I'm gonna try to keep it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I. I I'm gonna try to find something that's easy because they they just so smooth with it. But I I'm a little rough. Yeah. I guess it's good I'm 
last, so I don't like totally mess up the vibe. We can just recycle. But <laughs> um, this is a this is a tune that I wrote called Rebel. <laughs> Cause somebody said, you know, who you think you are? And I was like, oh, well, sit down. Let me, let me just tell you. <laughs> sometime over the last couple of years because of the dichotomy of the fact that we were so isolated and at the same time in many ways we were more connected virtually and I had been been zooming with peers and friends and family members that normally I would only see at a festival or see when they came through town or not at all there were a couple of cousins I'd never even met before uh, and we're still zooming after two years. I think it's probably enough by now, but no. <laughs> so um, I'll take a little bit more uh, vocal in this monitor. So uh, all the, the all those people have woven their way through this song, especially Kara Luft. Kara and I were zooming and, and still are so regularly. I know she's just so beloved. And, uh, so whenever I sing this song, I think of all the people who are weaving their way through. Mighty fine 
thoughts and their hearts and mine Cause there's no better time than right now how fantastic it is to see your faces. My heart. I can hardly stop from crying whenever I look out there. All right, it's my turn again. This song is the same song as the last song I sang. <laughs> uh, but I think the difference is when I wrote that last song, I was depressed. And when I wrote this song, I was in a bluegrass band. So. <laughs> <laughs> also very depressed. <laughs> this, this, this song's called Life Goes On.
songs today? So Apparently, like, yes. <laughs> That's what I got in my notes. <laughs> well, just because I think most of the people in my life would uh, give kind of a morbid answer to that, I've decided maybe a Towns Van Zant cover will be a nice... But this song's called Don't You Take It Too Bad. I think that's a nice view, you know. We'll just try that. Well, this is my friend Abby, by the way. Hey, Let's do it. to have a bass player friend in life. Everyone should have at least one. That's true. Um, I'm having a quick brain fart though before we start. So I'm just going to take a second. I've never had that happen. <laughs> Maybe daily. Maybe every hour. And don't you take it too bad.
smooth one for y'all. Okay? I'm joining in. Um, this song is called All Around. And uh, I grew, I mean, I'm, I live in, on the south side of Chicago. And if you've never been there, it's, it's a pretty rough place. And um, sometimes it's hard for my community to see a way out of a lot of situations and uh and it feels like you, you you're not getting anywhere like you just stay in your little radius and you never get to see anything or do anything and i wanted to write something to let them know that you know we're all going through this and there is a way out there is a world out there. I mean, I'm like one of the only people I know with a passport. Uh, back home, you know, they've never left Chicago. And here I am in Canada. So, uh, that means it's possible to, to get out of a bad situation and that everybody is going through something. It might not be exactly what you're going through, but everybody's going through something. Okay, and so here's a song called All Around.
Entire chorus behind you with my one little voice. I don't know if you if you if it read out there. Uh, I'm going to bring Hillary Grist and Jen Tomey up uh, just to sing on this song. We haven't had a chance to work out the whole song, so th but they know the vocals at the end, and you're going to know the vocals at the end, and you're going to know the vocals at the end because they're dead simple, and we're going to sing it together. And it's following in the theme because, of course, whenever you do a workshop, it, you can't plan it. There's no way that you're going to do the songs that you thought you were going to do because things happen before you that influence that, which is a wonderful thing. So you can sort of sit in my chair to get out whatever you want. <laughs> uh, love is everything. Oh, I forgot to tell them what we were going to do. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> There's a rising sun on an empty bed It seems you couldn't sleep, I guess That worried heart, that busy head The words you never said Everything that hurts leaves a mark Some are wounds and some are scars Some we Yes. 
say Love is what tomorrow brings Love is everything Love is what you mean to me Oh, love is everything That's what we're gonna say Love is everything Time for one more round. One more round. We have it. We have time for you three. Oh. Or shall we drop? Thank you for. Uh, for jumping in on the solo. I should have let you go twice as long. Damn! Right. I write almost exclusively political songs, but I'm trying to avoid those today. <laughs> Not for your sake, but for mine. This upset me too much. <laughs> I'm sure there will be plenty of artists tonight who will be happy to lecture you and you gotta sit there and take it. Actually, that'll be me in like two hours already. <laughs> so here's a song about nothing. <laughs>
you, showed you how to love. The way they hurt you, showed you how to love. Oh, the way they hurt you, showed you how to love. This song is called The Park, and it may be about grown men crying, but that's okay. Everyone needs to cry. As a stranger softly watching From a park bench across the street And it took hold of me I wondered what this man had borrowed As he unlocked the patterns from the well that he's been drawing from as he dips the shadows into his feet And it took hold of me Had someone planted him a garden And was her hair as long as the streams within a fountain Pouring light into a home he could not keep is a request from Shakur. So this is what I'm going to play. It's on this paper. Um, this is her favorite song of mine. And uh, it's one of the most important songs I've ever written. Just a short thing about it is that, uh, okay. <laughs> um, basically, I don't know if you guys know about Trayvon Martin, but he was murdered unjustly some years ago. And uh, the murderer got off. And I remember 
uh, you know, most people assume that black people probably just were angry. Uh, but that's not what we feel. It's more like grief. Uh, and the heartbreak of losing anyone that looks like you because they look like you. They're gone because they look like you. And that does something uh, deep to you and to your family and friends. And I needed to release my heartbreak, you get me? And so that that is what this song is. It is me um, hopefully getting you to see the other side. Like, you'll never know what it is to be me, and I'll never know what it is to be you, but we can empathize with each other if we take the time to listen to each other.
safe under God's grace, safe, safe from harm, no bullets flying, no mothers crying, I just want all these beautiful black babies to make it home, and my And, you know, I'm very pro-black. I love my people. I want us all to feel like we can do whatever we want in life. And that does not have anything to do with disliking white people or hating white people. There's no hate in my heart. I just want my people to be treated better. That's all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank all of you. I mean, y'all are amazing. I'm so grateful to have met y'all. Thank you very much. Set you free.
save the sinners? Was it a waste of a good man's life? Is there meanness in the bones of man beyond his sacrifice? Why, why, why is there hatred? 